Alors, euh, bonsoir, euh, mesdames et messieurs. Uh, this evening's presentation is about an image uh, of uh, the main, uh, in terms of protecting it as a heritage site, which it is right now. Uh, it, in fact, intrusive elements must be minimal according to the guidelines uh, of the federal government who have protected it as a historic site. So we are encouraging uh, its protection both architecturally and culturally as well, because there is still living culture in the area reflecting the days of prohibition. Uh, this here is, of course, the Quartier des Spectacles. We are proposing that Le Red Light is the centerpiece in Le Quartier des Spectacles, along with the Place des Arts and the Pôle, uh, what is it, Quartier Latin. Uh, the area, of course, as we have heard, has a long tradition of uh, entertainment and especially burlesque. Uh, the days of prohibition saw thousands of people visiting Montreal from all across North America because they were not allowed uh, to drink alcohol. So they came here to party, and that is a big part of our uh, heritage. It's a fun part of our heritage. And this burlesque uh, actually continues to this very day at the Cafe Cleopatra. Uh, just to give you uh, some statistics on what's going on over at the cafe, we have over uh, 10 different groups who are creating burlesque performances. Uh, you can see them on most days of the week. There are between 75 and 100 working artists who are about to be evicted from the Calcé des Spectacles uh, because there are plans to actually de uh, demolish this, these historic buildings uh, to build an office tower or uh, other projects of this nature. So, of course, uh, our presentation is suggesting that no, the office towers belong elsewhere, not in the historic site. We need to protect the site we need to protect the living heritage and make this a very important part of Montreal, a very important part uh, of our Quartier des Spectacles. So what the artists are demanding is we, au spectacle, au nightlife, pour uh, uh, revitaliser, rebâtir et non au bureau. Okay, so the artists must be listened to, ladies and gentlemen, listen to them. When you go to Prague in the Czech Republic, it is obvious that the Black Light Theater is part of the brand image of Prague. It is part of the tourist experience. Tourists know that when they go to Prague, they go to the Black Light Theater, okay? This is part of their experience. Now, what we are, of course, suggesting is that Montreal have the exact same type of experience by using our own traditional form of entertainment, which is, of course, burlesque. Okay, so it's a no-brainer. Uh, we have the heritage, we have the living culture, we have the buildings. All we need to do is get uh, some vision to pull it all together. Now, this is what the area used to look like. It was very bustling. Uh, it was full of nightlife. It was like Broadway. It was a bit like Bourbon Street, okay? Uh, nowadays, we know the area is fully run down. It's an eyesore. We want to bring it back to its former life, uh, to be what it was. To do this, we propose restoring the buildings and bringing them back to their original vocations. Uh, for example, cafes, theaters, clubs, bars, restaurants, etc. Okay, so uh, we do not want these buildings destroyed, but rather restored to their original functions. We want to add elements uh, to highlight burlesque, like this statue of Lily St. Cyr on the corner of St. Laurent and St. Catherine, as she is about to be arrested uh, by the police for her burlesque performance. We will, of course, celebrate her words. À Montréal, j'étais la femme fatale que j'avais toujours rêvé d'être. Quand je désambulais rue Sainte-Catherine pour me rendre au théâtre, les attroupements se formaient sur mon passage, les hommes cessaient toute activité pour me regarder passer. So yes, we want to preserve uh, her words as well. We want to put a uh, Parks Canada Interpretation Center into the site as well, so the tourists can come and learn about the heritage. Maybe they could even have an authentic uh, type of burlesque show to watch, or have a beer, or have some fun, okay? So this is a really good old building we thought might be suitable. Uh, apparently it's for sale. Uh, now we also, of course, want to encourage 
as many burlesque shows as possible in the area. So we propose inviting famous artists uh, like Robert Lepage, the Cirque du Soleil, all of these people to come and create wonderful performances for our tourists uh, and our local citizens to come down and see and to check it out. We're going to also propose, uh, we heard there's a school for dance on the agenda. We want to have a burlesque school uh, to help really revive this tradition because right now there's only a handful of people carrying on the tradition. We need to bring it back to life and so we might need to actually open a school uh, to help facilitate that. So ladies and gentlemen, Madame et Monsieur, uh, we're going to be concluding things. As you can see, burlesque is something that's very playful, it's irreverent, it's, it's a tease, it's tongue-in-cheek, it's titillating, it's provocative, it's political, it's seductive, it's arousing, revealing, and naughty, okay? It's a bit like Montreal uh, in some ways. So, of course, we are uh, proposing this as our plan. Uh, it will result in very happy tourists, uh, an increase in tourism, which of course means more money for the city. Uh, so that's a very good reason right there. And then, of course, uh, some of the other reasons uh, we will end up uh, protecting the heritage and making Montreal's brand image really stand out. Here we have an example of a postcard uh, where the Statue of Liberty goes to have fun. Uh, so <laughs> this is our plan. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And also uh, a big thank you. Uh, a big thank you to our visual artists. I am not a visual artist. I had to beg, uh, bribe, and plead, and give favors so thank you so much for our visual artists for creating these images. Merci, mesdames et messieurs.